All right, I'm the Flat Rate Master. Today we're going to talk about how to become an automotive master technician. All right, first off, I'm going to bust everybody's bubble. Passing all of your ASCs and getting on paper master automotive technician is not being a master automotive technician. You're past the test that test basic skills. Doesn't really prove that you're a master technician. Two, coming out of UTI or any of the other trade schools, local or national, you're not a master automotive technician. All right, first off, no one, period, no one knows everything. If you think you know everything, you're wrong, period. There, there's always stuff to learn in this industry. So you're always going to be learning even when you become a master technician. So let's talk about my definition of a master technician. It's not really gonna be that favorable, except it is. What I mean by that is a master technician is a jack of all trades, master of none. What I mean by that is a master technician doesn't specialize in any specific category. He's not a transmission guy. He's not a diagnostic guy. Master technician will do everything and have high levels of skill at all of those things. And what I mean by that is they're not going to need help in general in most things. Now, they might need to bounce ideas, but I mean, they're going to be able to figure out 99% of their problems, be it broken bolt to check engine light, can network, but because they don't specialize, they might not be at that top, top level for any of those categories. They're gonna be at a very high level for all those categories, but they're not gonna be at the top level for anything. You're not doing, you know, chances are if you're not pushed towards more diagnostic, heavy workload, you're not gonna be doing cloning modules, doing module repairs, et cetera. You're gonna be more in the trenches kind of technician. Specialist is another breed above a master technician. I'm sorry, it just is. Now, a master technician can learn how to do all those things and increase their skills above a general master technician. That's why I refer to them as a general master technician because you're doing everything. You don't have the... And because you're doing everything you're never gonna get to that top level of anything specific, whatever it is. You can get very, very high up, but until you focus on an area, you're not gonna become the master diagnostic guy. You're gonna be a master automotive technician. But how do you get to that point? Time, effort. There's no escape from that. You have to put in the time in the trenches doing it. Because it doesn't matter how much book skill you have until you put it to practice, it's not real. But on that same note, you need thousands of hours of training. It's not an easy process to get to that top level of being a general automotive technician. And then to get above those levels, you need even more training. So it's not an easy process, but it's a very rewarding process. When you get to that kind of level, people will come asking you questions and you can help them because of your knowledge. That's the top tier of your average automotive shop is that master technician that does all the hard stuff. If you wanna be at that tier, it requires dedication. There's no way around it. You have to put in the time going to training events. You have to network. You have to put in the time. And then you gotta get in the field and do it. You know, you can sit there and go, oh, yeah, you know, this test on the L1, for instance. Yeah, that's that's the problem. And then you get in the field and you have to put it into practice. It's very different in practice than in a book. And it just is. And you have to put that time in on both sides of it. There's no shortcuts on either side of it. Because if you don't experience something, it's not real. And all the training in the world will not get you to that point without the practical side of it. So you have to be in the trenches doing it. And then once you've reached that level where you're proficient in everything, that's when you start looking at specializing, whether it's going into 
you know, the more higher end diagnostics, module programming, you know, cloning, you know, all that kind of stuff. That's the next level. And that takes even more training and more skills and a lot more seat time. Now, I've always said programming is easy. All you got to do is push some buttons and it happens and you're done. The important part about programming is when it doesn't go right. That's where training is essential. You have to know how to recover that or it can get really expensive really fast. You know, simple thing like bumping the OBD2 connector while you're flashing. All of a sudden it loses connection and fails. Power dips below a certain threshold because your power supply on your battery isn't sufficient for the load. BMW, Jaguar, Land Rover. <laughs> My point of that is, is that's where that knowledge comes in really important when you're doing that kind of high level stuff is one mistake can cost things to go really wrong. And that's why that kind of stuff is only trusted to the high level technicians because it can go so far south so quickly and become so expensive. I mean, you talk to any mobile programmer and they will tell you 95% of the time they get called out to do a ECM programming it doesn't fix the car because <laughs> you know if that didn't fix it, it i don't know what else it could be because i've thrown every other part at it you know because they didn't do proper diagnostics working your way to become a master automotive technician is a great goal but it's not a easy one it's a lot easier to just be doing hanging brakes and suspension parts because there's not a lot of knowledge needed there but once you get into diagnostics transmission, HVAC, et cetera, et cetera, it becomes much more intensive. And the fact of the matter is, is anybody can hang brakes, anybody can hang suspension, but when you can do it all, you're much more valuable to the shop. So I hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flatrate Master.